This is Jamie Boyan with the Gregg County Courthouse with Gregg County Judge Bill Stout. Uh, just came out of the commissioner's meeting. Uh, there were several topics, I think, of interest. Uh, first off, I guess there's a property you guys own uh, over in Gladewater that you're going to be selling to TxDOT, right? Correct. So uh, I guess TxDOT is doing some expansion. That's correct. Uh, on the loop there, and uh, this it's it's not that big a property, I guess. No, right? it's it's. 0.4835 acres. It's about half an acre, a little less than half an acre. And we used to have our our JP3 um, Justice of the Peace office there, as well as a constable's office was there. But about three years ago, about three years ago, I think it was, we moved that office to Kilgore Community Center, and um, it was more centrally located in the precinct in where in Kilgore. And so this property has been sitting empty. And um, as we were getting ready to try and sell it, text dot approve the widening of the loop around Gladewater from uh, 271 and where that prop where that building in that property is when they're where they're widening the right of way of, from a two-lane highway to a four lane with a continuous turn line it would be coming right through the middle of it right right at the middle of it so we couldn't sell it and uh, we didn't want to we didn't, didn't want to hinder the development of that loop uh, for Gladewater so we uh, we made a uh, we made a uh, business uh, decision to uh, to partner with uh, Textile to get that done. Yeah, I guess uh, you kind of really didn't have a choice because they're gonna, nobody's really going to want to buy it. Well, if, if we had we not, um, nobody would want to buy it. That's exactly right because it, a road's coming right through their backyard. Mm -hmm. um, so it was it worked out well for the city of Glenwater. Worked out well for us, and uh, we're we're very happy to do it. Okay. I guess there's a couple other businesses along there, but they're yeah, far but there's enough. there's setbacks. They're they're way set back away from the road. They're not going to be affected. Okay. All right. And one of those businesses was interested in buying that building, but we had to say there's a road coming through here, and you don't want to buy it. So. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and then I guess you guys have made some progress with the paneling <clears throat> trail. Got a firm right. that's going to start a little design work. That right. Kind of we got the we got the of course we got the grant approved for the engineering and architectural work, and uh, the court approved today to accept uh, the bid that was uh, the lowest bid in terms of the in the in the scope of the work. So we we selected a MHS, I believe it was. I think it's MHS surveying uh, to, to complete the, engin the engineering and architectural part of it. And then we'll be going back to Sabine River Authority to possibly uh, have them consider uh, additional funding to construct the property. Yeah, because you're going to need parking and you know, some buildings and things like that. Mm -hmm. And preliminary talks have been favorable. Mm -hmm. Okay, good deal. And then uh, uh, Skeeter Boats? Skeeter Boats was a, uh, is, is a, another expansion that Skeeter has been a long time. Uh, Gray County family for uh, I'm not, I think a family uh, it's been a long-term family of the business community in Kilgore um, they've been there for over 30 years and uh, uh, where Halliburton was uh, Kilgore economic developments turned that into a reinvestment zone economic reinvestment zone which gives benefits to companies that would relocate there or expand there and Skeeter is right around the corner so the back of that property backs up against Skeeter's manufacturing plant now so it was a natural fit for them to look at uh, expanding in Kilgore and Gray County and utilizing some of that land. And so the, the 381 agreement we did today, approved today, was for economic development, for Kilgore economic development, uh, to be able to proceed with the uh, presentation to Skeeter to hopefully choose Kilgore and Gray County for their expansion. There's two other plants that are vying for the project. Okay. Right. And so they're taking all that property then? Uh, eventually they will. There's phase one and phase two. There's a smaller phase uh, that's already been agreed upon and they're, and they're going to do that part. But it's phase two, the one that's the big one, it's the $30 million uh, development and expanding of their plant. That's the one we're competing with, with uh, in Missouri, a plant in Missouri and a plant in Tennessee. Okay, I see. And so, uh, but it looks like this first part is going to be moving forward. And yes. So in a few jobs too. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, they. Uh, if, the, if, if we get the bigger plant, it, that'll really be a home run for Kilgore. We're excited about that. Yeah, okay. All right, good deal. Uh, Thank you, sir. All Appreciate right. It. And there's a little update of what happened in uh, Commissioner's Court. And we'll have more later on KLTV7 News and KLTV.com. Hmm.